This is how to play a simple version of Jane Says by Jane's Addiction. This is part of a free 10 video series where we're looking at songs we can play with two chords. They're essentially two chords all the way through. We have an extra section in this one, but the main part of the song for the vast majority is just a G chord to an A chord. And we're typically looking at how we can play two songs with one bar chord in this series. However, you wouldn't think that these two chords are actually, either one of these is a bar chord. We have a G chord and an A major chord. But importantly, to be able to do the little riff and to be able to play this song correctly, we actually uh, use the first finger as a bar and we play a barred A like this. So there's certain techniques that we're using here and uh, some of these are the same as when we use traditional bar chords and some of it isn't. It's just one of those skills that we absolutely need at this kind of level to cover all the bases and to give you the goal of this 10 video mini series to enable you to go on to learn whatever songs you, you wish after this series. This should enable you to do any especially simple strumming songs but there won't be any chords you're unfamiliar with or any techniques that you can't do because of the stuff we cover here. That's the idea, okay? Um, so the G chord, um, importantly we are using this kind of rock G, so we're not using the first finger and what would happen is we'd mute string 5 with the underside of that middle finger. So without the muting, that A string rings out, but with the muting we're like this, third and little finger where you would normally be for a G. If that is too much for you, you need to be looking at beginner songs because that is just a fundamental skill. If you haven't come across it before, it will be new, but we're typically looking at stuff that's a bit more advanced than that, okay? Namely, getting a good solid A major chord or an A power chord, which uses kind of a funny technique. So we would need this thumb sitting on the top and then the first finger hitting string four, three, and two, all at the second fret. And then this, importantly, this little kink so kind of making your first finger bend in a really funny way, to be honest with you. It's a very guitar spin, uh, specific way. But we want to try and get that thinnest string ringing out. At the very least, what we want to avoid is that first finger being flat and actually getting that second fret ringing out on the thinnest string. We don't want that. We need to just adjust our hand and sort of just press this part of our first finger down on, on the fretboard and then it just sort of kinks out by itself or it does with a little bit of practice. I apologize but the other fingers may look like they're here so I may adjust my camera in a second but the idea is one bar or uh, two beats sorry one two three four one two three four Jesus. and to get the rhythm down, down on the G chord and then up, up. There's a little mute there as well. And then, if possible, you could just do up, down, up, down, up at the end of that. Up, down, up, down, up. Up, down, up, down, up. So that would just fill it in. Really fun, re really cool thing to do, but we do have this little riff as well, and part of being able to play bar chords, or songs that use bar chords, is having the dexterity to be able to do a couple of little extra bits, the bits that make the difference. You know what I'm talking about, right? And those bits that make the difference here, it's hitting the fourth fret to uh, the second fret, so two to four, and then four to two on the middle two strings. This is so common in acoustic guitar songs, guys. This happens all the time. Those two frets are really well used with this kind of thing.
The great thing about the original riff is we're not really stopping the strumming to do pick those single notes though it's good to know to know that just so that we know which strings should be ringing out. We kind of keep the strumming going up, down, up, down, up, exactly the same. And it, the melody sort of appears, this riff kind of appears, but we're just hitting that third finger down. It's as if by magic, just keep strumming. And it just appears. Such a cool little riff. Um, and that first finger is barring. So the majority of this song does technically use a kind of bar chord because the first finger's barring. But again, I totally admit I am using a teacher's license here or artistic license to uh, appropriate this song to what I'm trying to communicate the, to you guys. Um, there is another bit to this song and if you want to learn it kind of fully, it would go to a D chord. And that D chord uses a little riff. Now that little riff is using a sus4 or d sus4 to a normal d, d sus2 to a normal d. And utilizing sus2s and sus4s with your open chords, so basically with a d chord and an a chord, so d sus2 and a d sus4, utilizing these and being able to use them is all part of being a proper intermediate player that can kind of Guitar Joe knows all the chords, strum any kind of strumming song, which is the goal of this course. That's all we're expecting from these 10 videos that I'm shooting here for you guys as part of this series. But so many beginners and even intermediate players just really un underused sus2s, especially on the D chord. The D chord is the safest place to use them. Anywhere you're using a D chord, you can essentially add a sus4 or a sus2 and it's always going to sound cool. It's always going to work. There's never a place where it was like, oh, that sounds bad, okay? But we're trying to emulate the song that we're going for or do something that they would do. So there's more help with sus2s and sus4s in the description uh, where I'll link to helpful lessons and give some more information. But that part of the song So there we are, that's how to play our third song in this little 10 video series. You'll find the other videos in a playlist which will be on the screen now or in the top corner or in the description or wherever YouTube decides to put it or wherever I put it on my website. I hope this series is helping you guys. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know any of your struggles in the comments below or get in touch via my website or on the apps and I will help you guys out and give you my suggestions. The next video should be linked to after this one. So I hope you enjoy that. I will see you there.